Hi guys, it is a great and gloomy Sunday morning back in the Point Lonesome Swamp, deep in the oasis of freedom after a week of getting out there and, and enjoying it while I still can. It is now Sunday morning, February 12th, 2022. So I just did some house cleaning uh, out here and I uh, humpty dumpty tribe to actually work up some piss and vinegar for this rant. Let's see how many, uh, how much hate mail and how many people will unsubscribe to Humpty Dumpty Tribe after your old vitriolic, uh, your, your old vitriolic uh, eco-Nazi reviews this Netflix documentary named Fantastic Fungi. I, I bet a dozen of you have uh, recommended this documentary Fantastic fungi, uh, some say fungi, but I guess it's fungi, uh, <coughs> to me, when did this, I think this documentary's been out for over a year, but anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's on Netflix, if you haven't seen it, I, I guess I do recommend it for the excellent photography, I would suggest uh doing about maybe three grams of mushrooms uh, turning the volume off and putting on uh you, you know putting on some some music and watching uh d just watching the video on shrooms but uh i had the sound up and so not all of the video, but a, a large percentage of it was featuring this man named Paul, I guess you pronounce his last name Stamets, I think it's S-T-A-M-E-N-T-S, everyone knows Paul, you know, he's this lovable mushroom hunter, uh, this save the planet, uh, he's going to save the planet with mushrooms. And, uh, you know, how can anybody have a, a bad word to say about St. Paul, the mushroom hunter? So, uh, I guess my little dog, uh, you get that squirrely like that. Uh, so I'm just going to wing this. I don't even need to go on the computer. Anyway, guys, before I get this is going to try, hopefully this is going to be a fairly quick review of this movie. Before I get into this, uh, Paul Stamets, you, you, you know, he's a great guy. His heart is definitely in the right place. I would love to do shrooms with Paul. I, okay, don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, Paul is not a doomer. He's not a doomer, and he sure as shit is not an eco-Nazi. Uh, he is certainly not a clueless fucking moron. I'm not going to say Paul Stamets is a clueless fucking moron on one level. What Paul is, is, is one of these goddamn uh, hopium-soaked, apocaloptimistic, uh, you, know, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, just one of these little dreamers that, that fucking mushrooms are, are, are going to save the planet from global industrial civilization. Uh, you know, you go on there and, 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 and bless his little mushroom uh, shrouded heart. You know, they go on there, and of course, they talk about it. Even Book Hermit uh, has mentioned this in comments about how mushrooms can eat oil. Like if there's an oil spill, you know, where the, the oil washes up on the beach or whatever, and how mushrooms can eat oil. Good for the fucking mushroom. It is called scale ability. Anybody on this fucking planet who thinks that these fucking little mushrooms, okay, 
are, 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 are going to, uh, to save this planet from oil spills, this is one more way that the fucking fossil fuel industry can say, you know, one more pass to go right about their fucking business. Oh, well, I, I'm sorry, we have an oil spill and, and St. Paul can, can come dump some fucking mushroom spores on this oil spill. And, and uh, oops, let Paul clean it up with the mushrooms. The fucking mushrooms uh, are, are not going to eat one one thousandth of one percent of the fucking oil spills on this planet. Paul knows this. He doesn't want to admit it. All right, what else? I, again, I'm just winging this. Uh... And so that was one of his TED Talks. And then this other TED Talk, uh, you know, talking about how he treated his own mother who died of cancer with, uh, with Taxol and with Taxol and turkey tail mushrooms and cured her of stage four cancer. Uh, you know, my mother, who also had stage four, his mother had breast cancer. My mother had ovarian cancer. Now, we did not treat my mother with turkey tail mushrooms, but what they did for, they treated her with Taxol, which I think Paul Stamens uh, described uh, in his TED Talk as a great drug or a fantastic drug it, yeah let, let, let me tell you uh, about uh, what a great job Taxol did uh, curing my mother of cancer and of course Paul Stamets knows as well as anybody on this fucking planet what Taxol did to the U tree the Y-E-W tree in the Pacific Northwest. This worthless fucking uh, chemo, uh, you know, coming out of this tree up there in the Pacific Northwest, absolutely devastated. Devastated, obliterated off the face of this fucking planet. Uh, these U tree forest up there in, 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 uh, in the Pacific Northwest. Paul lives in the Pacific Northwest. Paul Stamets knows goddamn well what Taxol uh, did to this planet. Whether or not his, it helped his mother, I don't know. It didn't do a goddamn thing for my mother, so I'm giving all the credit to the turkey tail mushrooms uh, for curing his mother. Uh, but as long as we're talking about, uh, you know, cancer, uh, another thing, you know, of course, somewhere in the documentary, they had to give a nod to uh, the guy who discovered penicillin, Alexander Fleming. You know, basically the guy who discovered penicillin and started the antibiotic revolution. Of course, uh, Paul Stamets uh, cheering on uh, Alexander Fleming for discovering antibiotics. Okay. Uh, if Paul Fleming, uh, I mean, if Paul Stamets were a doomer or an eco-Nazi, he would know that Alexander Fleming, as much as any single human being in the history, in the history of this planet, has done, one individual human, has inflicted more carnage onto this planet and every single earthling humans share this fucking planet with then, 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 I mean, he's right up there, with, with, good God, he's right up there with the guy who invented uh, nitrogen fertilizer. He's right up there, certainly, with a group of guys who came up with fossil fuels. If, uh, if, if Alexander Fleming uh, had never stumbled upon these fungi, uh, 
this planet would be a hell of a lot uh, in better shape than it is. Alexander Fleming is one of the most evil motherfuckers in the history of humanity. He leaves Donald Trump uh, in, in his fucking wake. Okay? If Alexander Fleming had never been born, I would be dead. You would probably be dead. The population of, of this fucking planet would probably be one half of where it is. For uh, Paul Stamets to celebrate uh, Alexander Fleming uh, is like a squirrel celebrating Sancho Panza. Uh, anyway, uh, what else? But, but of course, you know what it is? It was all about the humans. It, the, the whole fucking, uh, the, the whole fucking documentary uh, about uh, mushrooms and fungi was how they can serve humans how they can save human lives uh, and, and, and how we can cram more and more humans on this planet. Thank you to the fungi. Uh, and, 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 and just like everything else, it's all about the fucking humans. But anyway, probably my uh, the one that uh, I, I got the best laugh off of was uh, when a good part of the video was well, <laughs> I was really wishing uh, that Ter I, I would love to hear Terrence McKenna's comments because they were interviewing his brother and, and talking about Terrence McKenna, you know, talking about how psilocybin is being used, you know, research into psilocybin is being used to treat all of these uh, psychological disorders, particularly depression. Uh, and I'm reading this more and more about how psilocybin uh, treats depression. It, the psilocybin ha has done absolutely nothing for my depression, all right, probably made it worse because psilocybin, as much as anything, the mushroom god, uh, made me understand how fucked this planet is and how it's fucking humans' fault. Uh, I, I have had no therapeutic effect from psilocybin mushrooms. Now, psilocybin mushrooms pulled my head out of my clueless fucking moron ass and, and did as much as anything to turn me into an eco-Nazi doomer and a depressed collapsitarian. But anyway, uh, what I loved about this is all of this research and, and all of these people I really admire and respect cheering on this research into psilocybin. And, 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 and I, you know, I, I'm cheering it on on one level too. But what they did for about one second, they showed the dosage that they were treating people with and, and and i and i've read this in the mainstream media do you know what the fucking when when they have these treating these psilocybin sessions th these fucking sacred psilocybin sessions treating all of these victims of whatever anxiety and depression and ptsd the dosage is 0 0.55 grams. We're talking about one half of one gram, and they're showing. And so they're showing. They're showing these pictures of these people lying in there, you know, just uh, just in bliss. And on the screen, you're seeing all of these fucking geometric patterns and fractals and all of this shit off a fucking half a gram of shrooms. Pull your head out of your fucking ass. Half a gram of shrooms. You know, a half a gram of shrooms is like three fucking cups of coffee. You are not going to see fucking fractals off of a half a gram of mushrooms. It ain't going to fucking happen. Uh, you know, what did Terrence McKenna say? 
you know, laughing about people who have eaten one gram twice, pretty much twice the dosage. What, uh, what Terrence would, would laugh about anyone who has eaten one gram of psilocybin mushrooms and thinks that they have entered the psilocybin castle has not gotten beyond the front porch. Okay? Uh, you're 20%, you're, you're well, w with a half a gram, you are 10% of the way to the mushroom castle, to the five gram historic dose. But anyway, it, 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 for anybody who knows the difference between a half a gram of psilocybin and five grams, will get a, a sick, twisted laugh out of all of these, uh, out of all of these uh, psychedelic trips uh, that these clueless fucking morons claiming, uh, suggesting that you're going to get off a half a gram of, uh, of psilocybin. It ain't going to happen. But anyway, I did leave the, uh, the, uh, the documentary with a little bit of hopium. I, I, I do agree, I've said this before, but this is just kind of making it a little bit clearer to me. It is going to be fungi that survive humans. My guess is that fungi are going to be the most successful living organisms that survive uh, humanity, that after we go extinct, the sooner the better, that after this, this mess is cleaned up, that fungi are probably going to be the main you know, the main janitors sweeping up the mess that humans have made of the planet, and it's probably who whatever inherits this planet is going to sprout from fungi and, uh, and clean up the fucking mess uh, that humanity has made out of this planet. So do I give fantastic fungi a thumbs up? As I say, with the sound down, uh, eat at least three grams of mushrooms and turn the sound down, I give it a thumbs up. And I would love to do shrooms with Paul Stamen, so I can only imagine the uh, quality shrooms that he has, and I highly suggest you get out there and take a heroic dose of psilocybin mushrooms and uh, have your little trip to the mushroom castle while you still can. And with that, I'm gonna shut up now because I realize I'm talking to myself because I've pissed all of Paul Stamets' fans off. Bye, guys.